There are two kinds of very special molecules that you can have on the periodic table. These molecules are known as monatomic, which means one atom in the molecule. And the other type is called diatomic, which means two atoms in the molecule. Monatomic molecules are made up of elements that have no reason to bond with any other element. I'm talking about noble gases. Noble gases like helium, neon, argon, krypton, and radon, and xenon, they have stable octets. Neon, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and krypton, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Because they have no unpaired electrons, and they have a stable octet, they have no reason to form ions. They already have the perfect number of valence electrons. Therefore, they can't form bonds, and therefore, they're molecules all by themselves. Diatomic molecules are made of nonmetals that are so reactive that if there's nothing else around to bond with, they'll find another of their own kind and bond with them. These include bromine, iodine, nitrogen, chlorine, hydrogen, oxygen, and fluorine. When you find these in nature, they're paired up. Because they're so reactive, they need to bond with something. They're more stable when they're paired up than they are by themselves. Why? Well, take a look at chlorine. Chlorine has seven valence electrons. It desperately wants another. Now, is it going to be more stable just hanging out like this or finding another chlorine to share valence electrons with? It's more stable as a pair. So these atoms, if they exist independent from other elements, will always be diatomic. Here's how you can remember this. Brinkelhoff. Look at that. Brinkelhoff. Just think about the famous scientist Boris Brinkelhoff. All right, he's fictitious, but he's still famous. Chemistry students have been learning about Brinkelhoff forever now. So Brinkelhoff are your diatomic molecules. My old high school chemistry teacher, Mr. Zimmerman, used to refer to them as Twinkie molecules because they come through to a pack. Most of the elements are solids. Bromine is a liquid nonmetal. Mercury is a liquid metal. As far as the gases are concerned, Brinkelhoff, which had all of the diatomic molecules, well, if you eliminate bromine, which is a liquid, and iodine, which is a solid, you're left with Unkelhoff. Unkelhoff. And the noble gases are your gases. Unkelhoff and the noble gases are your gases. Every other element on the periodic table is a solid at room temperature.